What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a full body workout to build strength and lean muscle. Today's routine does require dumbbells. And you'll want to have a couple of pairs of dumbbells on hand so that you can challenge yourself throughout the workout. You can follow me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some modifications. If you're ready to go, let's pump it up. All right, before we move into our workout, let's prepare our bodies for that work that is to come with a warm up. Our first move is gonna be a combination two for one here, starting with a downward dog. So let's go ahead and bend over at our hips, hinging at our hips, hands on the ground, walk them out. Now perform that downward dog, we're going to relax our shoulders, pull back on our hips, relaxing, almost like somebody's has their hand on our hips and they're pulling back. And then with my right foot now, I'm going to step forward, right foot by my right hand, and I'm gonna move into what's called a multi-planar lunge. Feel that good stretch in your groin. With my right hand, I'm gonna reach through to my left side, full rotation, and then reach up to my right side. Right hand goes back on the floor. Right foot goes back. Now, rocking back into that downward dog. Now we're gonna do the same move on the left side. Left foot up by the left hand. Feel again that stretch in the hip. Left hand reaches through to the right side. And now left hand reaches up to the sky. Return back down. So we're going to repeat this sequence. Controlled, not a race, that's for sure. Just a warm up here. This one little sequence is hitting just about every muscle group, multiple planes. Make sure to breathe throughout. Getting everything from our hips to our shoulders, mid back and spine. Let's go through about 10 more seconds here. Just a great overall mobility move. Great one to do throughout the day too, if you're feeling tight or when you wake up in the morning. Just add this one to your toolbox. All right, last side here. For three, two, one, and zero. All right, we can stay down on the floor for this next one. We're gonna move into a bird dog. So we're gonna get into a quadruped position on both hands and knees. And I'm gonna bring my right hand to my left knee and then extend both my right arm and left leg. Return back to the floor, opposite side now. Left hand to right knee and extend. So it's opposite, hand and knee. Squeeze your glute and shoulder, upper back up at the top. And we don't wanna kick that leg up, but instead it's like we're driving that heel straight back, like we're trying to kick a hole in the wall behind us. Keep your core tight and engaged. Back stays straight. Try not to rotate on this one. Again, focus on your breathing. Not a race. Get that contraction at the top of every repetition. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna come up to our feet, work on our shoulders and chest and back necks. We're gonna move on over to a wall or a door, anything that you have that you can lean, lean up, on. lean on. 
that uh, we're going to perform an overhead shoulder extension and wall angel from a wall. I want your whole back flat up against this wall, or, or head, upper back, lower back, the best you can. Hands are at your side, palms on that wall or door. Now extend those arms straight up overhead. And now we're going to do a wall angel. Drag those hands and elbows straight down. Now drag them back up and return to that starting position. So four part move here. Again, arms come straight up, elbows down, dragging those hands and arms, elbows, and back up. And I'm sure I'm making a really attractive face on this one. <laughs> back down. Again, repeating this sequence, great one for our chest. Rotator cuff, shoulder mobility. All while trying to keep our back flush to the wall. It's not easy. Not easy. He may be better than us. Maybe not as good, but just keep coming back. You'll get better for five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. All right. Feeling a little more oh, yeah. mobile after that. I'm ready to go. Hit just about every muscle group. We are gonna need two dumbbells for our first movement. We're gonna go back and forth in a superset fashion between two exercises. So two dumbbells for this first compound move is going to be a dumbbell RDL plus hang clean to show you what that looks like. So with our feet hip width apart, dumbbells are in front, a slight bend in our knees. We're gonna hinge at our hips, keeping our core tight, Bring those dumbbells down to your knees, back is straight. Now I'm gonna explode, bringing my hips forward, dumbbells up and together. That's the hang clean, finishing with those palms facing me. Let me show it to you again. Dumbbells down, hips go back, slight bend in the knees, that's that hinge. Now explode, hips up, bring those dumbbells up facing me. So we're gonna do this together. Okay. We're counting our repetitions together for 10 repetitions, find a weight, that works for you for this compound move. And let's get the party started. All right, hinging at those hips, back and core, see tight and engaged. Now explode, up, that's one. Back down, so it's slow and controlled on the way down. And then explode on the way up, big power as you bring those hips forward. Keep that core braced. That means as you're pushing out 360 degrees on that core throughout the whole move. I want you to breathe in or inhale as you go down and then exhale, big power on the way up. That's number six. This one is working your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back grip, biceps, you're going to find today to be very efficient. You're going to get a lot of work in, in a short period of time. Last one right here. All right, here we go. Big power. Last one. And there's 10. Nice work. Okay. So as I mentioned, we're going to come, uh, go back and forth. This one's in a super set. We're going to move to the floor for this one. Probably need a slightly lower weight. Yes. But again, that's really up to you to decide which weights are appropriate for you today. We're gonna to do a kneeling wide neutral press. So we're gonna do a press from a kneeling position. If you feel more comfortable on your feet, you can do that. We do like the kneeling position because it really activates your core without getting your legs involved. For sure. So kneeling position, I'm gonna bring these dumbbells up and to my sides. And you can see I have my palms facing me. Now I'm going to press straight up, bring the dumbbells together and then control that lowering phase until those elbows are about at a 90 degree angle and repeat. We're going to do this one for 10 repetitions in total. Find a weight that works for you. Get them up, ready and begin. Controlling the way up as well as the way down, focusing on that time under tension. As we mentioned today, we are focused on building both strength and lean muscle. And in order to accomplish that, we need that time under tension. Those muscles need to work. Four more to go. 
breathing in as you lower the dumbbells and then exhale as you drive them straight up. That's number nine, one more. And 10, there it is, all right. Okay, Whoa. so we're going back to that dumbbell RDL plus hang clean. Time to choose your weight appropriately. If you wanna go up in weight, do so. If you wanna go down in weight, do so. Again, you wanna be challenged throughout that whole set. It's 10 repetitions, so repetitions eight, nine, and 10 should be getting progressively harder. If you're not feeling that challenge, go ahead and up that weight. All right, 10 repetitions in total here. Feet are shoulder width apart. Little bend in those knees. Let's hinge at those hips together. Back stays straight throughout. Dumbbell down to about knee height and then explode. You got it, 10 reps right here. Let's do it together. Inhale, exhale, boom, you got it. Big power. So this is replicating that classic Olympic barbell lift, but doing it with just dumbbells, a little more convenient here, especially if you're doing this workout at home. Or on vacation. Or on vacation. That's right. Also not as big of a learning curve and technique to perform this one, getting a lot of the benefits without some of the risks that come with the traditional barbell hand clean. Five more to go, halfway. Just letting those dumbbells slide down your thighs, just below your knees, and explode. That's it, hips go back, and then hips forward. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings and glutes as you drive them back and hinge. That's it, big power. Two more. Again, you should be starting to feel that challenge for these last couple of repetitions. Last one, big power. Boom, and there's 10, nice. Okay, dumbbells are down, well, unless you're using the same weight, but we're going back to that kneeling press up next. Moving into position. Again, ideally here for strength training, we need between 30 to 60 seconds between sets. So if you're used to doing like fast paced hit, that's great, but for strength training, we need that time in between sets so that we can use more weight and our, our muscles can recover in between sets. That's right. It's all about getting the best results. And also too, sweat is not a indicator, good indicator of whether or not you had a good workout. Very true. So sometimes you have to reprogram your brain. Yeah, I mean, she like never sweats. I mean, of course I sweat I don't. like walking up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> into position, it's time, we've killed enough time. Dumbbells in ready position at our sides and begin. Straight up, straight down, control that lowering phase. Breathing in and then exhaling on the way up, keeping good posture. That's right. Again, core stays tight on this one, that's your base. You don't wanna allow that core to stay loose. We want to keep it braced, 360 degree brace. If you're not quite sure how to do that, there's plenty of great videos out that'll give you like a five to eight minute tutorial on how to brace your core. That's and number eight. A few more to go. Nine. Control the way down. Let's go. And 10. Excellent job. We're gonna get our next superset started with a lower body move. We're gonna do a dumbbell front squat. We need two dumbbells for this one. While we are gonna hold the dumbbells with our hands, this is primarily a lower body leg exercise. We'll call it a little bonus. A little bonus that your, your shoulders arms. are gonna work. Yeah. That's exactly right. Start with our feet hip width apart. Let's go ahead and bring those dumbbells up into a rack position. Elbows are in, palms facing inward. Now, when we squat, the first thing we're gonna do is break at our hips, hips back, then your knees, coming down to our thighs or parallel to the floor, and then driving straight up. Now, so that first lower body move in the beginning was more posterior dominant. This one's more anterior, working on those quads. Doing this one together for 10 repetitions. Ready, and begin. Not a rush on this one. Definitely not. Quite the opposite, again, almost like an excruciatingly slow pace and it might feel like if you're used to doing fast workouts. Inhale on the way down, embrace, exhale as you come back up. 
driving through your midfoot. That means that we're not falling back onto our heels. We're not coming forward onto our toes, but really driving through that center of your foot, staying balanced. And if you feel yourself coming forward onto your toes or back onto your heels and you can't control it, two things. One, probably time to work on some extra mobility and flexibility. We got you on that. And two, here we do. And two, go down as far as you can before that starts happening today. Eight, two more. Come on. Inhale, exhale, big power. Here we go, last one. And excellent, okay. Ooh, my shoulders are feeling it after that neutral press too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Ooh. all gonna compound. So we need Ooh. one dumbbell for the next one. We're going to do a self-supported dumbbell row. Again, one dumbbell required. We're gonna get set up in a staggered stance. Right foot's gonna be back. Left hand's gonna be on my hip. Dumbbell's in my right hand. Both knees are bent. I'm bent over at a 45 degree angle. Back is straight, shoulders are straight. Now I'm gonna pull back from that elbow, squeeze my back at the top, and return back down. We're gonna perform this one for 10 repetitions on both sides. Still catching my breath. Couple big deep breaths here. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Ready and begin. Pull back from that elbow, squeeze at the top. Excellent. Now, when I say pull back from the elbow, it's an important mental cue because it means we're not pulling back from that hand. You'll see a lot of times people do this and they don't know why it's, they're not feeling it in their back. Pull back from the elbow like there's a string attached to that elbow and that elbow is leading the way. That's gonna ensure that you're working that lat muscle, that big back muscle underneath your arm. All right, believe it or not, we are already at 10. One more right here. And there's 10. Oh. Okay, other side, same move. Get your, switch your setup. Again, you are gonna work your lower body a little bit, just maintaining oh, yeah. this position in your back. Staying stabilized here, get in that position. Shoulders are square and begin. Also keep that head in line with your spine. That means you're not looking up TV like that. But oh. instead, you can draw a straight line down from your head, neck, back, through your spine. And notice how when we are pulling back with our elbow, we are not twisting our upper body. If you feel yourself having to crank or twist, that means that your weight is a little too heavy. Yeah, we want to do this one under controlled. Yes. And again, controlling that lowering phase as well. Here's number nine. We have one more to go. All right, there it nice is. Work. Okay, so that Whew. super set first round is done. That means we're headed back into our front squats, adjusting your weight as needed. You know, if that first set wasn't quite heavy enough, go up. If that first set was too much of a challenge and you couldn't even complete the 10 repetitions, lower your weight. And over time, you'll get a better sense of where you are, what weights you need for different movement patterns. It's really just a learning curve and learning experience everybody has to go through. Right, it's so individual. All right, getting into that rack position, and those dumbbells up to our sides, elbows are in, feet hip width apart. 10 repetitions, let's get those legs going. Sit back, break at the hips first. And up, controlling that lowering phase. As well as the way up, don't just stand up as fast as possible. Again, we want under control. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Well, this one is more of a quadricep focus, that's that big thigh muscle in front. Still is also working our hamstrings and our glutes. Also working our shoulders just to hold these dumbbells. Oh, that's number seven, and I'm already feeling it, so. It must be working. <laughs> that's it. Eight, two more. Can't spell change without being challenged. And we're gonna challenge you today. Last one right here. We want those results. All right, there's 10. All right, so moving to that one dumbbell, 
choosing your weight accordingly. Again, I'm using the same weight for both of these, but that might not be the case for you. Again, everybody's different out there. You can take a little time, shake out those shoulders <laughs> and Catch those legs. That's <sighs> it. Grab a drink of water, whatever you need to do here in between. Contemplate your life decisions, how you got here today. Contemplate, no. but don't push pause. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Okay, here we are. One arm, self-supported dumbbell row, staggered stance. Let's do that right arm first. Left hand on my hip. Shoulders are square, so I'm not here, I'm not here. And begin. Control both ends. Make sure you have a nice, wide enough base to help you keep your balance. Oh, that's a great point. If you're losing your balance, you're probably too much like that. Pretend like you're standing on a track of some sort. Nice oh. and parallel. Breathing on every repetition. Pull them back from that elbow. Think about it every time. You got Three it. more. This is not only working your back, but your biceps and Triceps. forearm grips as well. Oh yeah, that was your last one right there. Okay, same Ooh. move, opposite side now. Shake out those legs if you need to. Oh yeah, it's a killer combination. Legs aren't really getting much of a break here between the no, they're not. front squats and just this. Who wrote this thing? Yeah, I don't know. That's a masochist, <laughs> I think. Okay, here we go. Shoulders are square and let's hit it. You got it. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goals. Showing up today, putting in the work. Halfway so you point. Can, so you can get those results. Staying focused today on what brought you here today. What is it that motivates you? What, what goal are you working on? And last one right here. Boom, that's it. And we're done with those rows. Next superset is getting started with a unique push-up variation called a wide fingers out push-up. So let's go ahead and move to the floor. I'm gonna do mine from my feet. I'm gonna do mine from my knees. So those fingers are pointed out, as you can see here, and that's gonna force us to use more of our chest than a traditional push-up. Getting... And we want our fingers and our hands in line with our chest. Abs are tight, core is braced. I'm gonna breathe in as I lower my body. Elbows come to about a 90 degree angle and then back up on this one. And if I can't do the knee version, Claudia? If the knee version is feeling a little too hard for you, you can take your push-ups to a bench, stool box, chair, yeah. a wall. Something higher. Something that's gonna help you hit your chest, but isn't gonna to put too much strain on you. We're gonna do this one for 12 repetitions. Let's get into position. Ready and begin. Control that way down, control the way up. That's it. Full range of motion. No chicken head on this one. What I mean by that is actually make sure you're bending <laughs> those elbows and not just reaching with your head and neck. What? No, it's like a bok bok, right? You're yeah, like pecking exactly. at the ground. You got it. <laughs> I was going to do it, but I spared you guys, so. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they would have loved it. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Feel that chest working. We'll call that eight. It's 12 in total. There's number 10. Two more. Come on. You got it. Starting to feel it. Under control. Make sure you keep nice, tight glutes, back, and core. There's 12. Nice work. All right, so there's our upper body, and if you kind of notice, we're going back and forth, upper, lower, to our feet. We go for a lower body move. It's gonna be a new one for probably many of you out there. It's called a Cossack squat. So let's walk you through this one. We're gonna start with a really wide base and stance. I'm gonna give you two different variations here. I'm gonna start by moving to my right side, dropping down on my right hip, and I'm actually gonna come up onto this left heel. And I'm gonna keep my foot down to the ground. Coming right back up to that middle position, moving to my left side, dropping down. You decide which depth is appropriate for you based on your fitness, strength, mobility levels. We're gonna do eight, well, 16, 16 one, two, three, total. or eight each <laughs> way, you'll see. <laughs> okay. Inhaling on the way down, ready to our right to start, begin. 
You see how far feels appropriate for you on that depth. Under control, just body weight, no weights on this one. Our body weight provides more than enough on this one. Sitting back. So you can choose my depth or you can choose his. Or even deeper, you can do so. Ooh. So both legs are working, but different muscle groups are working in each leg on each repetition. Here is number eight, this is halfway. Sitting back, drive those hips back. And your knee is gonna come out a little bit. That's a good thing as you open that hip up. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to keep my oh, head up, whoa. chest up. Yep, and it's gonna test your mobility at the same time. That's 10, you got six more. Dropping back and down on everyone. Gonna test our mobility here. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Inhale on the way down. That's 13. Two more, come on. Nearing the end. Last one. You got it. Go deep as you can. Ah, there it is. Okay, oh. shake those legs loose. Oh my. <sighs> and we're moving to the floor for our second set of push-ups here. Slowly coming down. Hopefully you got a good feeler for the first set. Tells you where you are. Move it to a wall if you need to. There's no shame in that. Yep, or a bench. Or, or if it's too easy for you, you can elevate your feet as well uh, to make it a, a harder variation. You do that. <laughs> Claudia's <laughs> like, I will not be doing that, but you're more than welcome to. Okay, but fingers are out. Getting into our push-up position. We have 12 repetitions here. Ready and begin. So we don't want those elbows fully flared out. You see, as we're coming down, the elbows are almost a 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle relative to your body. Slight tuck inward. Exhale as you push up. That's four. Again, one of those moves that would just be so much easier to fly through it. Give a bunch of little half reps. But we're not here for easy. We're here for results. That's seven. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. That's right. And that's what you're here today. You that's eight. You showed up, you got started, and you're gonna finish. Finish strong. Come on, three more. That's 10. Two more. Here we go. Last one. Control the way down. Control the way up. All right. <laughs> well, the best way to forget about how our ch chest, shoulders, and triceps are feeling is to work on those legs. So let's come on up, hit another set of those Cossack squats. Again, set up with a really wide stance. I know it feels funny, but it makes sense once you drop into that squat. Yeah, it's kind of like a stationary uh, lateral or side lunge. We're just keeping our feet down the whole time. Okay, eight each way. Let's start by moving to our right, dropping that hip back. Ready and begin. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Focus on that breathing. Go to your happy place on these. That's right. What is it? What are you doing this for? Think about how good you're gonna feel when this workout is all done. Think of that sense of accomplishment that you're gonna have when you can check this off your to-do list. Oh, halfway point. Eight more, come on. Oh. So important that we work our body in multiple planes of movement. Yes, yeah, squats are great, but we gotta get lateral movement, locomotion, other planes as well. Very functional move here. 12. Let's go. You can do it. Great one for our knee strength and stability as well. Whew. 
15. Last one. Ah, you made it. Nice work. Next up, we have a two for one move coming at you. We're gonna work your biceps as well as your shoulders. We need two dumbbells for a dumbbell hammer curl plus lateral raise. We are gonna perform this one from that same kneeling position that we were in earlier. Again, if you're not comfortable down here, you can do it from your feet. We're gonna start with our dumbbells at our side. Good posture, core is tight. Making sure that our pelvis is underneath our rib cage so we don't wanna flare out back here. Keep it nice and stacked. Oh, I love that point. Now we're gonna perform a hammer curl to start. Palms are in, elbows come to a 90 degree angle. Then, so that's part one. Now we're gonna perform a lateral raise, keeping that 90 degree angle, dumbbells come up. Return, back down, three and four. So one, two, three, four. We're doing this one for eight repetitions. So you can use a little heavier weight on this one. Don't be afraid. All right, ready and begin. One, two, three, four. So any of these four part movements, even though it's only eight repetitions, it's like every rep just takes that much more time. So don't rush through it. Make sure that you have a weight that's allowing you to do these movements under control. So if you feel yourself flinging weights up or down, adjust your weight accordingly. And even though it's those four part moves, give each one of those four parts its own time under tension. Don't that's race right. through any of them. Woo-wee. Starting to feel it here, the last few reps. This is actually number eight right here. There's the last one. All right, so that's eight repetitions. We, we don't need any weight for this next movement. We're gonna focus on our core as well as our glutes, and we're gonna move into a side plank position. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna move to my left side on this left forearm. We're both gonna have our knees stacked, legs stacked on top of one another. Now for my variation, I'm gonna start with my hip down. I'm gonna bring my hip up and open my hips into a clam and then return back to the floor. I'm actually gonna come up into this side plank position, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this position and then I'm going to clam from here. We're doing 12 repetitions. My variation is a little more challenging. You decide what's right for you. Ready and begin. So I'm coming down in between each rep. It's for 12 repetitions in total. Both Ooh. glutes are working on this one. Oh yeah, little, and your shoulder. <laughs> and, and, your, and your abs, especially that, that oblique, that side ab muscle. Make sure there's no twisting of your pelvic, of your pelvis here. Keep it nice and square, nice and stacked. Open them up and squeeze those glutes at the top. Here's number 10. Two more to go. And 12. All right, Ooh. so let's give those glutes, or that glute, a break. And let's switch to the other side. Same move now, just flipping over. For us, it's now on our right side. And again, remaining stacked here for 12 repetitions. Ready, and begin. Again, if you're doing my variation, really control that way down. Don't just allow your hips to flop back down on the floor. Make sure you keep your core nice and braced throughout the whole movement. Exhale as you uh, do your clam. And you open up those hips. Really test yourself when you're opening those hips as well. Test that mobility. How far can you get them open? That's a sneaky mobility exercise we're throwing at you as well. Two more to go. And last one right here. Nice All work. Right. All right, let's give that <sighs> core and glutes a break as we grab our dumbbells. Moving back into our kneeling dumbbell hammer plus lateral raise. A couple of big deep breaths here before we move into it. Give your shoulders a shake. Give them a shake, yeah. Ooh wee. It's the thing about these compound moves, everything's working in almost every exercise. Sure. Like we said, it's a full body workout today, we meant it. 
Adjust your weight if you need to. If your last set was too easy, up that weight. If it was too difficult, you couldn't get through, lower it. That's right. All right, here we are. Eight repetitions. Ready and begin. Hammer curl, lateral raise, and lower. Focus on all four parts of those moves. One, two, three, four. You got it. Ideally, you bring in those elbows up until they're at a 90 degree angle right there. Ooh, halfway. Come on, four more to go. That hammer curl is working your biceps as well as your forearms. That lateral raise is really working all of your shoulder muscles, especially those medial deltoids. Last one right here. Think of those beautiful muscles you have. And there's eight. All right. Okay, dumbbells are down. Next set of clams. Okay. Let's do it. This is one of those kind of sneaky exercises. It doesn't look like much, but oh, by that second set, you're starting to feel it. Make sure your elbow's right underneath your shoulder. Get That's set it. up in your stacked leg position. Are you ready, Claudia? I'm ready. All right. Let's rock and roll and begin. Yeah. Ooh now you know why we have all those hip mobility drills in our warm-up. That's right. <laughs> it was on purpose. We knew those hips were getting hit today. But hey, we want our glutes to look right. Keeping it right and tight. I gotta keep it right and tight for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have seen her face on that one. I'll get it later in the video in the replay. <laughs> That's wow. nine. Three more. Coming up, squeezing those glutes. Ooh. 11, and last one right here. Ah, uh, there's 12, all right. Other side. But honestly, more than anything, glute strength is so good and vital for your back and your core. Exactly, because when your glutes are strong, your back doesn't have to work nearly as hard in our day-to-day -day life. No, and you have weak glutes, not enough strength, you're gonna feel it in your back. Here we are, and begin. And that's gonna become even more important as you get older. It's true. As you age. Well, and the other challenge is our sedentary lifestyle. All the sitting that we do just really deactivates our glutes and they learn not to fire. So, so many of us have to retrain our glutes on how to work. And Come then on. if your back is hurting now, we have a great lower back video just for that reason. That's true. Go ahead and do a search for Hasfit lower back. A little shameless plug there. Breathe in and breathe out. Almost there. That's 10. Two more. Come on. Oh, I'm feeling that glute burn. And 12. Ah, all right. Nice work. We're going to spend this next sequence on the floor. I am going to need two light dumbbells for my variation for the first one. And for my variation, you won't need any dumbbells for this one. So you decide how strong you feel in your core today. We're gonna do a dead bug. Again, I'm doing mine with dumbbells. Lying down on our backsides. I want you to bring your legs up into a rack or a tabletop position, 90 degrees. Arms are straight up. I'm gonna do it with my palms facing inward. Now I'm gonna extend my left leg straight and my right arm straight. Back to the return to the middle. Now left arm, right leg return back to the middle. The whole time you're doing this, we need to keep your lower back glued to the floor throughout, so no arch down here. We're gonna do this one timed for 30 seconds in total. So not counting repetitions, just doing it for 30 seconds. Ready and begin. Keep that lower back glued, it's so important, regardless of which variation you choose on this one. We're going to inhale as we bring our leg and arm back. Exhale as you bring everything back to tabletop. And even if this variation of the leg extension feels a little too difficult for you, you can definitely move into just a heel tap and come right back up. So whatever works for you. Again, with the whole goal of keeping that lower back glued to the floor. So you're forcing those abs to stay engaged throughout. And time. Okay, we can set those, if you're using dumbbells, you can set the lighter dumbbells to the side. Both of us are gonna need dumbbells for this one. We're gonna perform a 
lying dumbbell tricep extension with a supinated grip. Let's show you what that looks like. So two dumbbells here, lying on our backs. Palms are facing backwards, so like behind us, facing our head. Arms are straight up. Now our goal on this one is only to bend at our elbows, only elbows. Control those dumbbells as they come down and then extend the dumbbells straight back up. So forcing those triceps to do all of the work on this one. Ooh -wee. <laughs> really isolating those triceps for 12 repetitions in total. Let's do it together and begin. And inhale down. Picking a weight that you can control that lowering phase so you're not dropping those dumbbells on your face. That would really put a, a little bit of a bummer on this workout today. Hang on to them nice and tight. Exhale for number three. You can feel those triceps, that big muscle, well, big, three muscles combined really, in the back of your arm, working together here. And this is number six. You're halfway there. Combine this exercise with all the work we've done so far today already, and we definitely are feeling it. Again, keeping that lower back glued to the ground. Ooh, that's eight. And again, adjusting your weight appropriately. If you need to lower the weight, do so. If you need to increase the weight, do so. For 12 reps, nine, 10, 11, and 12, you really wanna feel. That's 11, one more. Oh, All right, there's 12, I felt that. Oh man. You feel good on that one, Claudia? I don't know, I'll let you know here in a minute. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna do a hip up variation. So we're staying on our back sides here. I wanna place my hands to my side, bring my heels nice and close to my glutes. I'm gonna perform a hip up where I drive off my heels, drive my heels into the floor, and I bring my glutes all the way up. Now, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring one leg up. So one leg, keeping my hips square, not rotating here. We're just gonna hold that position for 45 seconds in total. Ah, big deep breath here. Let's for, do it. For three, two, one, begin. So you feel actually both glutes working here. The one with the foot that's on the ground, yes, is keeping you up, but that second glute has got to help stabilize so you can maintain this position. You don't allow that glute to drop. Oh my goodness, and you might feel a little shaky and that's okay. Oh yeah, I'm already shaking. That just means it's working. Yep, it just means you're human, that's all. Come on, breathe through the whole movement. Big deep breaths. It's 45 seconds in total. That's right. Again, you have exactly 15 seconds left. Make those glutes work, make that core work, lower back. It's all working together here. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, so we're gonna go through this sequence again and we'll hit the other side in the second set. All right, so that means that we're moving back to the dead bugs. You decide if you wanna use some light dumbbells or if you're just Good with your body weight here. Very functional core superset we got going on for you. Again, arms are straight up, palms facing inward, feet and legs in that tabletop position. We have 30 seconds in total. Lower back is glued to the floor. Bring it down and begin. Right arm, left leg. This is actually one of my very favorite core movements. This is gentle enough even if you've just had a baby. Yeah, or if you're dealing with some, what's it, diastasis recti. Right. And so it's just, and also for us men out there too, a lot of times you know, people focus on, oh, do a bunch of crunches or a bunch of sit-ups, but really those inner, deep inner ab muscles get ignored. That's right. This is really engaging that transverse abdominis. Your innermost core muscle. Which, when those are weak, that's another common cause of back pain. So let's strengthen all of those muscles. Almost Not much there. left to go. In three, two, one, and break. All right. <sighs> Big deep breath here. 
we're gonna allow that core to rest and let's get that little extra tricep workout in there. Working that back of the arm was a challenging one, especially with this unique grip. So if you need to lower your weight, feel free to do so. Or if you went too light, increase. Again, change it up as muscles fatigue too. We wanna continue to challenge them, but we wanna be able to finish with good form. So in total, we have 12 repetitions here. Remember, those palms are facing behind us. Arms stay straight up to start, and then we're gonna bend at those elbows. Ready, and let's hit it together. 12 repetitions. And I did some tricep work yesterday in my own personal workout, and definitely feeling that here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as we come up. And again, control, control, control. How many times have I said that word so far today? My apologies if you're getting annoyed by it, but it's so important. Sometimes you need those reminders. We definitely do. Even I need those reminders. Seven. Come on. Not much left. Fighting right to the end, folks. Come on. Pushing through that burn. You're stronger than that burn. Let's see it right here. Ten. Two more. Let's go. Here we go. Last, Last one. one. Ah, and 12. Okay, no more triceps today. Give those a break. Woohoo! And now we got our last set of those one leg isometric hip ups. So try to remember which side you did last time. And let's do the opposite side this time. Yeah, I think we're extending the left leg. We are extending okay. the left leg. So let's start by coming up on both feet, driving both heels into the floor, get those hips square. And now bring my left straight leg up. 45 second clock starts now. Let's go. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, my can we go that? <laughs> Don't think about it. Sounds like you're already thinking Ooh. about this. Hey, well, we're... can I tell you, I've had a couple of hard hikes this week, so my legs are, they're, uh, yeah. And she's still here with you, folks. I'm no still excuses. Here. We're here to work out with you. We're committed to helping you achieve your goals. I'm here because my husband says I have to be here. We're here because <laughs> our spouse said we need to be here. And because I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, that too. Hopefully our... Just trying to get you guys a little bit of humor to get you through That's this it. last 45 seconds. Not much left. We actually have five seconds in five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. Boom, you made it. That's it. We did it. You've reached the end. You did it. Now, nice work. Now, for the easy part, we're gonna do some mobility work, show our body a little love here, starting with a 90-90 hip stretch. Let's move to the floor, get a little hip love in there. Yes. Let's start with both knees at a 90 degree angle, opening them up here in this lovely little position. Super cute. <laughs> and now we're going to rotate to our right side, keeping both knees at a 90 degree angle. Now, if you immediately start to cramp up, go ahead and come on back. If you're feeling good here, maybe that's all you need. But if you want some extra stretch, go ahead and lean into that lead leg with your opposite side shoulder regardless of which position you find, find a position that feels good for you where you get a nice stretch and we're just gonna hold. It's a static stretch today here. For three, two, one. Let's come up and come back to that neutral position and now let's rotate to the opposite side. Same story if you need to, lean back. One side might be tighter than the other, pretty common especially after a tough workout like Ooh. that. Oh my. And yeah. one side might be tighter than the other and that's normal. Yep. For me, that is my left. You know, and if you're somebody who spends a lot of time sitting throughout the day, maybe at a desk or whatever, for whatever reason, this is a great one to just do throughout the day. I know I, I, I find myself doing this two to three times a day. For three, two, one and back up all right let's move to our feet come on up slowly a little combination move here specifically aimed at our posterior chain our back side we're going to do a toe touch plus cactus arms so let's start with that toe touch feet are together relaxing hinging at the hips allow yourself to fall forward 
Now for me, that's a, a toe touch or a floor touch. For you, it might be an ankle touch or a knee touch. Just reach as far as you can. Nice and relaxed here as we decompress that spine. And then stand up with straight arms. Arms come up overhead. And here's our cactus arms pulling down from those elbows, opening up that chest, and then back down into the toe touch. So we're just gonna go back and forth between these two movements. Standing back up, arms are straight, pulling back on those elbows, opening up your chest, and back into the toe touch. Feels sort of similar to the wall angel. Yeah, definitely similar. Just a little different movement pattern, a little more opening of our chest here on this one as we bring that chest up last time. And back up, pulling down on those elbows. Ah, oh, nice. All right, next That's up. so good. Let's stretch our quadriceps again. That's that big thigh muscle in front. Um, we're gonna do a standing quad stretch. Depending on your balance, you might want to find a wall, a chair, a couch, something to hold on to here. So we're going to grab back our right foot, right leg. I'm going to push my opposite arm up. That helps me balance. Try your best to keep that knee tucked into your side. Again, if you need to, you can use that opposite side arm to, to grab onto something to hold the balance. I like doing it like this sometimes because it's a little extra balance work. Yeah, um, test yourself. Why not? Woo! Ooh, sometimes you have to focus. For three, <laughs> two, one, zero. Yes, we are human as well. We're not perfect. You're gonna see us be challenged with our balance. Opposite side here. And again, if you are testing your balance on this one today, it's helpful to find a focal point. Yes. Something to focus your eyes on so they're not moving all around the room. If you can find one thing to look at, it really helps your balance. Little trick of the trade there. Trying to keep that knee into your side. Don't allow it to flare out and relax. All right, next up, we are gonna do a waterfall stretch. A little love for our wrists, as well as our uh, biceps and forearms. Let's go ahead and place that right elbow into our side, right palm facing up or left, if you wanna do it like Claudia. Oh, just, sorry. You know, I'm just gonna be a rebel. I'm just gonna do whatever the opposite of what he says. <laughs> well, that, that, you know, that really relates to my day-to-day -day life. Anyway, <laughs> let's grab those fingertips and we're gonna gently pull them down. Elbow comes up and we're just gonna hold here. Just a gentle stretch, 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You wanna feel a stretch, but don't feel like you're, you know, cranking no on your wrist or your fingers either. Yeah, no pain. For three, two, one, very good. Same move, opposite side now. Nice and controlled. Uh, just take a second here to take a deep breath and give yourself a pat on the back. That's right, you didn't for, push pause. For showing up, yeah. putting in the work today. You didn't stop, I'm so proud of you. So many other things you could have done. Probably some, you know, a, a television series you could have watched, an extra 30 watched, minutes on Instagram, yeah, whatever it is. you could have watched Reels for 20 minutes, but instead you showed up and, and you, you put, put in, in some that work. work. And we're proud of you for that. That's right. For three two, one, zero. That's yes. it. Yes. Now you're officially done. done. You made it to the done. end. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? That's right. And the, those programs can be found on our HasFit app regardless of what device it is that you use. You can also help support us by picking up some gear like a HasFit t-shirt or our diet guide eating eating for life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Again, thank you so much for working out with us, with us today. Oh, I got having a hard time. <laughs> hey, I made it too. All right. I'm human. Thanks for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.